Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jared with Final Cut Pro Help, and today, this weekend, this fun Saturday, I have a quick tip for you, and it's how to use the hand tool and the zoom tool. I know these tools have been around for a long time inside of, I think, every version of Final Cut Pro, and they're often overlooked and not used. So let me show you how to use them because they're very easy to use and maybe you'll uh, integrate them into your workflow there. So I've just put a bunch of clips onto this timeline and the zoom tool and the hand tool are in our little tools menu here, but they're really only useful either in the timeline or the viewer in the top here. So I'm gonna hide both the inspector and the browser because we don't need those. And I'm going to start here with the hand tool, which if you click and hold on the tools menu here, which is normally the select tool or the arrow tool, which you can get back to using the shortcuts on the right here, A gets you that select tool. That's kind of your standard tool that you use everything with. If you want to switch to the hand tool, just click and hold and then go down and click on the, or let go on the hand tool. You can also use the shortcut H. And if you're going to use these tools, I do strongly recommend that you learn the shortcuts because that's really when these tools become, become useful. So before we use the hand tool, let me switch back to the arrow tool, which I'm going to use the A to, uh, key to do that, or the select tool. And on the timeline here, I'm just dragging across. I'm not even clicking. I'm just kind of scrubbing through our clips here. I can scroll left and I can scroll right. Uh, I can also go up and click and drag right on the top where the play hit is to move across the timeline. If you've been editing for a while with Final Cut, I'm not showing you anything new here. But with the hand tool, if I press the H key and let go, I get the hand tool. And now I can click and drag anywhere in the timeline here. I'm just moving my hand in a circle on the uh, mouse here just to click and drag. And I'm able to scrub through the timeline. I'm going to switch back to the arrow tool, the uh, A key. If I do the same thing and try to click and drag across, now I'm selecting clips, I'm rearranging things, extending stuff, not what I want to do. So using the hand tool is a really great way just to move around uh, well, your timeline. And this timeline is fairly simple. I don't have many layers of tracks on here, but I can shrink everything down. And I can even go down to the smallest view here just to see everything is little tiny lines. And even here, I can just click and drag across to move throughout this timeline. I can do Shift-Z to zoom all the way out, see the entire timeline, and not really a reason to use the hand tool in this case. But if I wanted to zoom in, this is where we're going to switch over and use the zoom tool. So I can click on my tools here and go down to zoom and uh, get my zoom tool here. Or instead of using the menu here, which again, if you're going to use these tools, I strongly recommend using the shortcut. Just press the Z key on the keyboard and you get your zoom key. And when you're zoomed out, you can just click and drag across a portion of your timeline. And when you let go, it's going to zoom into that spot. And I'm going to switch back to seeing the actual clips here just to make it a little bit bigger. Zoom up. And here are those clips that I uh, zoomed into. If I click, I'm zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. I'm really close. If you look at the time codes at the top here of the timeline, this is one second. So I'm very close, very zoomed in here. Uh, now again, Shift-Z is a shortcut I use all the time to zoom out. But if I have the zoom tool, I can hold Option. And it might be hard to see, but inside of the magnifying glass, when you hold Option, it changes from a little plus to a minus. And if I click a couple times, I'm now zooming out of the timeline. So that's uh, one thing that you can do. Zoom tool, you can click and drag around a spot to zoom into it, or hold option and click a bunch of times to zoom out of the timeline. And that's the uh, kind of the, the zoom and the hand tool being used on the timeline. You can also use both of those tools in the viewer. So let's find a shot I might actually want to zoom into. Let's say, let's find the hiking shots. Or Oh, let's go with the dogs. Let's go close into one of these dog shots here. So when we have a, a, a shot in the viewer with the zoom tool active, I can just click, 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 and I'm zooming into the, uh, the viewer into that spot. And if I hold option, click, 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 I'm able to zoom out of the viewer as well. Same thing with the viewer. You can do the shift Z shortcut at any time to fit the viewer uh, in there. 
All right, so that's the zoom tool and the hand tool. Again, Z to go to the zoom tool, H to go to the hand tool, and A to switch back to the primary or the brain select tool. Now the final tip before I leave you today, these tools are great, but you usually don't need them repetitively. You usually don't need to like zoom, 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 and then be on the hand tool for two minutes while you're dragging around. You usually just need to use the tool very quickly. So for example, I might want to zoom in on the timeline. So I'm going to hold the Z key, zoom in a couple times, click, click, click. And after I'm done zooming in, then I'm going to let go of the Z key. And notice it switches back to the select tool. And that works, I believe, with, with every tool that's in there. So same thing, if I want to drag around using the hand tool, instead of going up to the timeline and clicking, I'm just going to hold H, click a couple times to drag across, and then let go of H, and notice it switches back to my arrow tool or my select tool. So that's a really quick way to navigate around your project, around your timeline, or around your viewer using the hand tool and the zoom tools. And then again, with any tool, just hold the shortcut key, H for the hand tool, or Z for the zoom tool. And you can also do Z and option to get the, the zoom out tool. And then when you let go of those keys, it will then switch back to the select tool without you having to do anything else. So I hope that tip uh, is helpful for you. If it's not, let me know why it wasn't helpful for you <laughs> in the comments below. And if you want to see something specific, if you have a specific question or something, some area of Final Cut that's been troubling you or getting you stumped, let me know in the comments there. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos that I'll be posting shortly. And everyone have a wonderful rest of your weekend or whatever time of the week it is when you're watching this.